Welcome to Unsolicited, TaylorMade Thursday, where I try to bring some fresh content, or at least explain my view on some content around sewing and um, help you out, guys, get a little bit further down the road uh, on your sewing journey. Hey, I'm Susan with Unsolicited, where we break down fashion one stitch at a time. Welcome to Tailor Made Thursday. And today we're going to talk about sewist.com. Okay, this is the website we're going to be visiting today, sewist.com. So what sewist.com is, is a pattern software website. It's got a lot of features, which I hope I get through all, all of them tonight, or at least as many of them I think you'll be interested in. Um, it's going to go pretty quickly. <laughs> so Get your pen and your paper and um, join in. Now, if you have any comments to make, you can go ahead and put them in on here, but you may be able to post a comment directly. Anyway, my name is Susan Johnson, by the way, <laughs> and I'm a sewist. I've been sewing for over 40 years plus since I was a little girl and as a full business on in 2011, since 2011, full time doing this. And I like to pattern hack. As you can see, if you looked at any of my socials, I like to pattern hack. I like to explore different um, details in garment design and, um, you know, play around with it. And I've done it for years for my clients um, as for myself. And now I'm going to share the knowledge that I've gained over the years. So I hope that's OK with you. And uh, in this un informal format here, because I like to do it live because um, for me, it's better than to try to pre-record something at this moment. All right. This is a presentation on sewist.com. It's a web pat PDF pattern um, website that does made-to-measure patterns. Um, if you are interested in making your own designs or using the software to make basic designs, and even some that are a little bit less than basic, more than basic, uh, this is one for you. you. I think you should try it out. I think you should give it a good go. Um, and use it as one of your sewing tools in your sewing toolbox, okay? I have it in mind. I've been using it since about 2015 off and on. And because it's been in beta um, version, the beta version has been like, it's been in beta for a minute. And they're tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking it. Um, I've just now gotten to the point that it's okay or stable enough to share the information. And I'll share some of the stuff to avoid and maybe uh, you won't you know, need to do with it. I'll, but I'll, the core stuff, I'll try to share with you, okay? Uh, and this is going to be the sort of like the beginner level overview of this site. All right, let's get into it. Let's not delay. Um, now, if you have questions, please put them in the comments and I'll try to catch them at, um, toward the end or maybe the middle, but toward the end. All right, and um, let's go. Let's see. All right, let me get to my site all right let me, all right this is sewist.com this is the home page is what you're going to see when you get onto the website um uh, it is primarily a sewing pattern design software okay so if you've ever done any type of pattern drafting uh this is one for you if even if you're starting to do pattern drafting you may want to use this and i'll tell you why later but Let's get into it. I'm going to start tab to tab what each of these tabs have in them. I mean, the tabs at the top and um, sort of give you an overview of it. So well, first, you're going to uh, create your own account here. It's free to use. So you can create your own account here with sewist.com. Um, I have mine created. Let's see if I can go into my own. Oh, I got to log in first, huh? Uh, be using my password. Okay, I'm logged in. So um, your account will look like this. You know, you can put your picture in here, um, your name, your country. Um, and this, by the way, is actually is Russian based, but they are saying that they're based in Switzerland. So do whatever you want to do with that information. Um, <laughs> see, I've been on here since 2015. Um, playing with it um, as it got better and better because it was not as good as it is right now. Um, and you can you can start your account and I advise that you do this so you can save your patterns and you can um, use some of the pro tools that they have, which is also free. That's going to blow your mind, but we're not going to talk about that today. 
just the uh, basic stuff because that's kind of in depth. So this is your um, account screen here. It'll show the projects that you have, uh, any friends, groups, or stash. You see, I have none of that. I don't do much engagement on this because the community is a little bit less engaged. I think that's because of the quirks that go on in the system and because it's not cultivated by the software um, company uh, themselves. So, um, so let's go. They just want you to buy the patterns, basically. <laughs> okay. All right. First page. I'm going to start with the uh, user page with the user link here, which is um, the icon that has a little person on it. Now you have tabs that are called by name here. You got a profile tab. This is the place where you can, let me show you, I'll show you right here, my projects, my projects tab. This is a place where you can keep track of all of your sewing projects and patterns, including those you create using the Sewist software those you purchase from independent pattern companies and those you create yourself. So all the patterns that you have that are digitally um, generated or just photos of them, you can keep a catalog in here. That is useful, being that this is a free um, software and you can put as many patterns that you want to reference in here. This tool is, is a great tool for that. Let's see, it's a good way to organize and access all of your sewing resources in one place. All right, so that's what this is for. Now you can add a new project here and I'll show an example of that later because it'll come up later. All right, so my inbox. Inbox is just their messaging system within the websites um, so you can communicate with other users, okay? So that's all that is. Um, so if you know how to use email, that's basically it. All right, and my office. I was confused about this at first, but it gives you an opportunity to request copywriting, translation, pattern test, and pattern drafting services from the users here um, and also designers. So if you are making those requests, and that comes up later too, back here on the So is CAD portion, um, when you um, create uh, applications or a job post or all, anything like that, it'll populate right here. So again, I have nothing here. I did have something here before, but I took that out. So very useful. Like I said, if you were out just, well, we'll talk about that later because it comes, comes up next, I mean, toward the end. All right, uh, my orders. My orders tab is a section of the website where you can access and view all of the patterns that you have created and downloaded. You can see the photo, the, the uh, line drawing image of them as well. This it, it serves as a central location for managing and organizing your patterns, making it easy for you to access them and use them as needed. So these are ones I've purchased. <laughs> I have created this one there are several, I think several times, maybe tweaking the sizes. Um, just patterns I've created for clients and for myself uh, for personal use. Um, pattern downloads will be on this tab. It, now, this is a specific pattern. We'll talk about this, too. Um, and it comes in separate uh, pattern blocks. So those files come up separate like this. Um, you'll show, uh, let's see. Yeah. You have a list of your previous orders cataloged in here, uh, which will have links to them, and your soul coins. Um, we'll talk about that also later. <laughs> I think I don't think that. Let me see. Yeah, we'll talk about that later as well. All right, let's go on to the online designer tab. And that's what you came for. I'm going to do a demo of that toward the end. Uh, also, so hang on with me. And then I'll show you how to use this. But first, I want to tell you about it. See, so the online sewing pattern designer software, which is what this is. Right here, once you see that. Uh, it, it enables you to create custom fitting sewing patterns using basic blocks as a starting point. You can use the software to customize the fit and design elements of your patterns by choosing from the various style options provided. This gives you complete control over the final look and feel of your designs, allowing you to create patterns that are tailored to your specific needs and preferences. Now that is with um, limitations because they only give you a um, limited collection of options. However, um, if you can see here where it says dress and it says 80.8 .8 trillion, that's how many patterns have been made off that block. 
the combinations that you can do. And we'll get into that when I show you the demo, okay? <laughs> um, so you all also have, let's see, let me go down here on online pattern designer tab, a free pattern. I suggest you go ahead and grab that free pattern. It's a dress pattern. So men, if men are watching right now, you won't be able to um, get a men's free pattern, um, but this is available to women. I should uh, reference that, just said that in the beginning, but this, these patterns are for women and then there are some children patterns too, actually girls <laughs> and girls. So the free pattern, let me show you that. I hope you can see see that. Let me see if there's any comments. So got one comment. Let me see. Uh, cycle shoe. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Go on. This is the free pattern that they offer. It's a princess scene pattern with the um, Peter Pan type collar, uh, scoop neckline, short sleeves, and the pleated skirt. That will pretty much give you an end if you want you order your patterns and I'll show you about that at the end how you order the patterns you can um, customize the pattern to your size of course and make a muslin garment try it on see if it's fitting you properly there are ways to edit the pattern infinitely to make it a perfect fit and that comes in another lesson too sorry um, but you can do that, but do this and grab a test one with your measurements in here. And um, that will give an indication of whether or not you have a great fit or if it needs some work, okay? Sometimes you get a great, great fit off the bat, um, off the top. So, so that's your free pattern. Now we're gonna go into slopers and basic blocks. Now, um, if you want your own set of basic block patterns, size to fit you, and ready for redrafting, meaning they have no uh, seam allowances. Um, they only are made, drafted to the seam line, which is great for people who are pat doing pattern drafting or, extra, or do it, want to do that. Um, they're provided for you right here to purchase. So you have your, your different fits too. You have a semi-fitted and a fitted dress block with the waist uh, seam and without. You have a skirt block and you have a pants block and you have a uh, circular type skirt block with panels here and a, a gathered skirt block with, um, yeah, just a waistband here. Um, and it, there's a description here which tells you what it is actually. And that's very helpful for those sewists who are kind of, um, well, I'll explain that later, sorry. <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, I don't wanna get ahead of myself here. All right, so the next thing you have on this tab is sew coins. Sew coins are here. If you purchase them, you can use them as a form of prepaid cash when purchasing patterns on the website. As a safety precaution, it is recommended that you use a debit or credit card that is not directly linked to your bank account to make purchase on the website rather than using a direct bank card. So. I say that this is my advice to you because this is a, um, uh, like I said, it's a foreign um, company and I don't know much about it. So I protected myself by just purchasing my um, sew coins ahead of time. And then I can, when I want a pattern, I'll just use a coin. Now, the drawback to that is when the patterns go on sale and they are on sale right now, then your sew coin doesn't, the value of the sew coin doesn't change. So the base value of, of one sew coin is $2.49. And so when patterns go on sale, you want to kind of do a direct buy. I, just, I suggest you just grab a Walmart money card <laughs> and purchase it at that time. Uh, that's not traceable back to any bank account, just for safety measure. I've never had a problem in, in seven years. So I don't foresee anybody else having a problem, but just, be, just to be sure and safe, go ahead and do that um, if you desire to. Okay. They also have gift certificates that you can purchase or someone can purchase for you. Uh, it's Christmas. So if you want to start working on patterns and, and purchasing them and, and getting them, get somebody to buy you some gift certificate coins. Um, they have them in different increments, just like the, um, the regular direct buy sell coins. Okay. Um, they have up to groups of 25, 1, 10, 15, 
three, five, and 25. So that is there for you. Now, the next thing under this online designer is Patarn, P-A-T-T-A-R-N. And again, I apologize for my phone. Um, now, pattern in brief, because we can do a whole talk on this too. And I think I did on my YouTube. It's not a great one, but check it out. I talk about this pattern. Pattern is another option for purchasing pattern blocks on sewist.com. This option offers a wider range of patterns and includes the ability to download them for use with augmented reality projectors. Mm -hmm. You can use them with your projectors. Now, these patterns are made using the online sewing pattern designer software. So this it has a you can uh, put in your measurements or save your measurements. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and you can um, use them the same way. So it's just a made to measure um, version of the pattern blocks also. And so you can see here, you can choose the different sizes, standard size. I have all these saved size myself and some of my clients um, by name. And I'll, sh did I, sh yeah, I uh, think I'll get to showing you that. But, and here you can enter your measurements um, manually. You can change your units from centimeters or metric to uh, U.S. inches. Okay. Make sure you do that. And I'll, we're going to talk about that when I show you how to use this thing. All right. We're trying to move along. Gallery. In the gallery, we have, it's a feature that allows you to view and search for patterns. Let me go to it if I can get there. Yeah. View and search for patterns that have been created using the online sewing pattern designer software and they're made public by other users. So you're only gonna see these if they've been made public. Um, so there are a lot of them. There's several pages here. If I go down to the bottom, it goes page 10 and beyond. Um, you can browse through these, but it's just better just going and make your own. But you can also get ideas of what patterns you can create with this. Hence the uh, reference to the 80 trillion patterns made off of one pattern block. Uh, as you can see, the variation can go unlimited, really. Uh, well, not unlimited, but it can go a long way. Um, so let's see. Oh, these, uh, yeah, you can get, get a lot of inspiration from these. Uh, let's see. Now, with these patterns that you're creating, you can create style boards. Now, this is for anybody, really. <laughs> but I would, see, I would say this is for the person who wants to learn how, when they want to be a fashion designer, say. I know that Sabrina on um, on TikTok, I can't think of her username right now, uh, but Sabrina on TikTok, she's going to be a fashion designer. I think a few other people that follow on TikTok are. Um, so this is great when you are talking about a specification um, um, sheet. This is a brief specification sheet that, or a cover sheet that you can create. This is free to create. Everything's free except for, you know, when you purchase a pattern, that's why the price is down here for the pattern purchase. Now this, this is a nice little top, actually add a little band to it. And it'll be a cute little prop top, but it's cute just the way it is. But these are pre, these are, have been made by other users. And if you have made any, you can click my style boards here and I'll show you mine. Um, and it'll show your style boards. Okay. Now I'm going to read this because I wrote it. <laughs> style boards are also known as a mood board or inspiration board. It's a collage of images, text, and other design elements that is used to communicate a desired style or theme. You may add an image of the line drawing for your design or a picture of the design inspiration, fabric swatches, and other design elements that are auto-generated. Okay. I can, I'm trying to see why my boards are not seen. Did I log in? I did log in, didn't I? Hold on. Oh, yep, I'm logged in. Sorry about that. I'm trying to let you see my style boards. Uh, let me see. Oh, it won't let, you, let me see. Maybe I have to click in them. I'll show you one. All right. This is one of my style boards that I've created a little design from. Now, this is, this is me, pattern hacking. You know, if you've watch any of my content. I've been talking about pattern hacking. This is a tool I use to pattern hack in a sense or create designs that I want to create. Um, so that's what it looks like when you open it. And for practical use, you can print. Let me see. I'm trying to think. 
think I can. Um, I think I could print this. I forget. Let me see here. Yeah, I think you can. Um, you can. Let me see. I have to figure it out. Uh, but uh, I would print this, like this sheet right here uh, that you're looking at with the line drawing and everything. Print that out and make that the cover sheet for your patterns. When you order your patterns and get them, uh, you'll print it out. You can have this um, to go in your pattern envelope with all the details on here. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can use them as cover sheets, I would say. All right, let me make sure you all aren't chatting away in the comments. <laughs> all right, so let's move on. Okay, now the next thing, let me go back to are the store. So, stores tabs. <clears throat> um, currently, these are the only three stores in this particular store tab. Now, I'm not sure what sewers.com means for these. There's another store uh, tab for users. Then there's this one. This is sewers.com, Prio Patterns, and Yesterich. You can go in to see the patterns that were, cre was, were created by um sewers.com which is actually the company you can go in there and see their whole catalog and you can access these in a couple of places um so and you have them by categorized by um silhouette here style here on the left and very useful if you just want to see the ones that they created um i don't see a search here, I guess these are just for view, but there is a search one um, available on another tab, and I'll show you that. I hope we get to that. So that's that. Now the patterns underneath that is is their patterns. These are the this all three of those pattern companies referenced or pattern stores referenced. Uh, they're all all under here under here. See the that's mixed in with the sewers.com pattern. So they're all in here as one group. So you can click them, buy them, put your measurements in and make them and print them and make them. Okay. All of them. There's a lot. I don't even want to go into it. There's a lot. No or no organization for these, but there's ways to search this um, database. Um, we'll get that. Let's see. Now we're on. So we did. We did projects yet? Yep, we're on projects. All right, so for projects, this is a gallery of public projects, a feature that displays projects created by all users of the website. This gallery allows you to see what other users are working on and get inspiration for your own projects. You can add your own projects to the gallery by uploading photos and showing your progress. By sharing your projects in the gallery, you can receive feedback and comments from other users and get ideas for how to improve your work. That's a way to use this um, to make it work for you. Uh, you can add a new project by clicking, clicking the link here and I'll show you one um, in here. Some of them don't have photos, some do. You can put as many photos as you want, I believe in here. I think so. In here, you can put your, you can rate the pattern here your level of happiness with your results. <laughs> you can put in uh, the name you've called your uh, project. You can put in the date start and date completed is, date start automatically populates. The date completed is when you uh, complete your project by clicking that. There's a link there for that. Over to the right, you'll see the pattern and it, there's a link to it. If you want to make one of your own, you can make that. You see our user here, Miss Gabby um, made her pattern. And I want to point out also over here in this box, if you can see that over to the right where it says dress fitted below knee, that's a description of the patterns made, uh, the, the collection of patterns <laughs> that make that garment. So if you don't know how to describe different um, features of a garment, looking at these um features laid out for you for each pattern will get you familiar with different bodices, different types of necklines, different types of sleeves. And that will help you with searching for other patterns that are commercial, that are independent. It'll help you search for those types of patterns on the internet once you know uh, what you're looking at. 
does that make sense? Because if you're doing any type of pattern hacking, you're sort of breaking up a garment, which may not exist in the pattern as a whole garment, then you have to look at these, uh, the sleeve and the bodice and all of that individually. And it helps to get familiar with what to call uh, a bodice or, uh, you know, a princess seam bodice, a bust dart bodice, a waist dart bodice, uh, or a gathered neckline, things like that. It puts details in here for you so that, um, uh, for me, so that you will know uh, what it's all made up of and get familiar with those terms. Okay, hope that helps somebody. Let's see. So that was the projects tab. Now, underneath it, we have a stash link here that takes you to other fabric stores. So let me see. Now, the stash link, this is the main stash link. This is where, um, let me see. Yeah. This is where users, um, their fabric that they're um, posting for sale out of their personal stash, or let me take that back. Some of them aren't for sale because let me see. I believe, I'm not sure if this, see, I'm not sure if this is for sale. She didn't have a price on it. Some people save them in here for use when they're doing a, um, remember the um, style boards? When you want to put in the fabric for your project, you can save them here on your under your personal stash. Okay. I don't think I've saved any. Let me look and see. I'm not sure. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> but you can you can look at other users' fabrics and things like that. But there are also some for sale, and they would indicate that, I believe. Um, I'm gonna show you on the next next few tabs that's gonna be in there. So under this is under the projects tab. Um, so we're going to go to the fabric stores next. These were created by users, like I said before, uh, who sell fabric patterns, etc. cetera. Um, so these are going to be their stores. Now you set that up on their different tab, but this is where they populate at. So y'all got all different kinds. And some of these link to outside sources like Etsy, uh, their personal websites, like this is for Hobby Lobby. Um, these are different stores. Now Hobby Lobby is a user, so... Yeah, they can post it in here. So, um, isn't that cool though? <laughs> it's real cool. Uh, so the next thing under there is a fabric swap. So if you have, this is only one person doing that right now. Um, again, well, if you have fabrics that you want to swap with a user, you'll post it um, under fabric swap. There's an add new link right here under next to the stash, the name stash that you can um, open up and um, put in your information about your fabric and how much yard, yardage is there, what it costs, and things like that. Now, all of that will populate under the stash for sale. Now, if it's not for sale, you don't put a, I think you don't put a price in there or something like that. But check that out in depth, and that probably will help somebody um, if you want to swap fabric. Fabric sale, specifically, <laughs> is for sales. Um, maybe I said something wrong in the beginning, but however, here we are. Fabric sales, post your fabrics that you have for sale here so other users can buy them. Um, and again, they have a little but link right here to add your stash, add the price, and all of that stuff into it. Um, and you can, uh, you can um, search by color here. You can search by design here, uh, which is also a good feature for this. Uh, they, they've done quite a bit of work on this site, um, as of late. Um, so they're, they're getting to be something that's very useful for uh, most sewists. So next, contest. Now this is, I'm going to make this quick because it's really, it's not an active thing they're doing anymore. But over to the right, um, the, the design contest is a feature where the platform for use, is a platform for users to create and submit their designs that they're making with the online pattern designer. Um, they make these designs for consideration by other users. So the other users get to vote on their designs and the winners are chosen based on the votes received. I think they win free patterns or something if they if they win. But right now, they're, it's not active. They're going to come back with this. And they have a little note here saying that, um, I'm going to show you, that um, it's not really working right now. <laughs> So here on the right side, you see a link that shows you the previous contest. The last one ended in May, in June. Um, and you see, you'll only see the winning um, 
design. That's a simple one, but it won. Uh, maybe there weren't a lot of votes, but yeah, there was only four votes. So that one won, and you see the second and third prize here. So, so you get five free sewing patterns for winning first prize, and three for winning second and third, second prize, third. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, thing to keep people engaged. And I think that's the point they're engaged on the site, but they don't have it anymore. Not right now. Anyway, it's coming back. So let's see contests. And I'm, okay. Here's where they tell you that it's away from some fine tuning. They'll be right back. So, um, hold out for that. Now we're into our pattern library. Remember I showed you the, um, designers patterns like sewists and the other two well, their pattern patterns are showing up in this library as well as users uh, who create patterns in this library. Um, I believe so. Let me make sure. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. These are patterns created. Well, let me take that back. Let me see. Yeah. These these are patterns created by this by this group. These are these designers associated with soist.com there's a list here and i'm going to show you where you can um pull them look at mccall's is on this list simplicity is on this list lakala lakala is, is a um a pattern company related to soist.com there's butterick here um, but this is just they're just designers or considered designers on the site uh where you can go to their page and go and purchase their, their um patterns directly from their sites and I'll show you where that is next in a few clicks. All right. So that's the pattern library. Now, the reviews is just what it is. is where users give their personal reviews on the sewist.com patterns, made uh, the made-to-measure patterns or whatever pattern that they created using the software. Um, designers is what I was speaking about. That's that list of designers like Butterick and all of them. This is the catalog for those designers. Um, you'll find patterns from a variety of companies that maybe you may be familiar with, which is what I said. You can easily search for patterns from a specific designer, and if available, you can purchase them directly from their websites. So, um, so Butterick, you know Butterick, right? So we'll go into their profile. I'll show you theirs. Let's see, we're running into over 30 minutes, aren't we? So I need to wrap it up. <laughs> So let's see, Butterick. So here you can see the Butterick's profile. Now they don't have a link to their patterns. So, but it's in there. All right. I thought they might have a link. No link. Uh, but they have two patterns showing here that um, they're referencing. And then you can go to the site from there, I believe. There's a link there. Oop, I don't want to go there. Oh, sorry. that's it. All right, so let's get to the next thing. Those are the designers. And then really quickly, I'm going to run through this. These are books and the book link. under. This is on the library again. Book link here. These are uh, sewing reference material that users have uploaded to the site. There are several categories here. Over to your left, you see crafts. Um, they have sewing, quilting, embroidery, and they have space for other types of crafts. But of course, there have not been any users, it seems like, or no users have uploaded any information on that. And of course, the different languages the website is available in. Um, so if you're not an English speaking person and you have need of translation, there you go. And you can actually set that up when you open your account. All right, so those are books and you can put in add new books here so you can reference them later and create your own library. So if when you add a new book, let me show you this real quick. If it opens, I don't know if you can see it when I open it because I'm wondering if the pop-ups are actually going to be seen. Um, maybe not, so I won't open it. So, um, but you can um, create a library of your own books and put them in there. And they don't want you to put any duplicates. So if it's something that's already in here, you can just save it to your library as your own. Um, so let's see. Now the next thing, magazines, not much to mention there. That's all they have right there. So we'll move on. Classes. <laughs> now classes, 
these are sourced from the, the users and they come from everywhere. Uh, websites, YouTube, um, um, per personal videos uploaded, uh, just giving classes on sewing. These are all, all free as unless you, I think they're, they're by link. Let me make sure. You probably won't. Yeah, you can see this. So yeah, you can put a link in here. So if it's if you have a class for purchase, put your link in there, and um, tell people what it's about. And you can get your link, and then um, they can purchase your class and keep it moving. But not a lot of activity on this site yet, I don't think. But um, definitely put it, put your links here for YouTube, your YouTube uh, tutorials and things like that, so people can find them. Um, on this site because there are tons of users, thousands of users uh, that visit this site. Don't, you know, don't let it, don't, it looks kind of barren, but people are definitely using it. So definitely post your videos here. I would, um, so let's see. Now we're in the community. Community. This section includes profile of new members as well as recently uploaded fabrics. Let me show you if I can get to it. It's a little slow. There we go. Now, unless a person uploads a photo, you're not going to see it, but you can see the username and when they, about when they um, became a user, <laughs> uh, how many hours ago. It just tracks that. And I'm only going to show you just a few of them on this one page. And then you can see any recent stash uploads here. You can see any recent projects here and access them through the community there. Um, people. Of course, it's just the users. All of the users here, you can search by name, username, country, um, state, city, uh, and find people near you, possibly, that are using this software. You all can work together and um, and have a little fun sewing. Now, that's what I would use it for. So now let's see. Forums. Forums, of course, what they what or what it, it says it is you can um, post questions join specific groups focused on specific topics discuss job opportunities stay up to date with group content and updates uh, but there's not much activity on it as you can see activity is five months old 10 months old 47 months old quite old not a lot of um of um, posts have been read either as you can see this says unread two posts unread I mean it's a lot a lot of inactivity uh, people are trying there's some three months ago here but you know not many people visit this or know to visit this um so I'm going to try to bring more awareness to this website <laughs> they're not paying me but I don't I, I it's very useful for me and um people just need to know about it but now if you have specific groups that you're part of you can um, save your groups. You have all your groups, job discussions, and so is forms here. I'm not going to go into that in depth, um, being that it's inactive. So in groups also, I'm going to skip that. Those are your groups. You can see they have them um, laid out here as a little reference guide. You can sort them and find the ones that interest you. And maybe there's some old information in there. You can search and research, okay? All right, so jobs under that community tab involves, this is where you can offer your services as well as request bids for jobs under the following categories. All right, copywriting, translations, it means that if they're sewing documents or content that needs to be translated in a certain language, then people put a request out here on the jobs tab and they um, request people to help them with that. And, you know, uh, they work out compensation, however they want to do that. So you have pattern tests, like someone makes a pattern, they want to test it, they, they solicit the group or the community to come and test their pattern. Terms are worked out through the user. Um, there's pattern drafting. Um, these are services. So also pattern drafting services. Um, and there's some list of jobs here. You can see those. And they have upcoming fashion illustrations and tailoring services, which I thought was very interesting. I'm a tailor. So I want to see what they're going to bring um, with that. See, I when I noticed that there have a coming soon items that haven't been um, uh, posted before, I know they're still working on it. Like I said, this is a beta uh, software, a website. Uh, that's getting there. It's just really, they're really kind of uh, tweaking and making it better for us. 
Um, all right, so that was jobs. So the news tab is just that. Um, it just uh, when so is pattern, so is wants to post an update on their patterns, they do so here. So you can watch that there. Now, here's the sweet part. We're going to rush through and then we're going to do a demo. So I hope you've hung in with me for at least this long. <laughs> if not, so sad for you. But anyway, uh, let's see. But I hope you'll catch it on the replay because this is this is very good information. And I'll tell you there's a bonus at the end, okay? All right. So under So is CAD, So is CAD is, I'm going to read it. It's a state-of-the-art pattern design system that allows, allows you to use a vast set of anthropomorphic, excuse me, anthropometric measurements and get unparalleled fit of garments. To create a pattern, designers describe the sequence of, the, of drafting steps, proprietary pattern programming language. SOAS lets you export patterns in any format. Create, so that means PDF, uh, SVG, uh, augmented reality, um, and the others. I can't think. Of, uh, I can't think of other uh, uh, letter documents. But anyway, a lot of, of formats. Create um, video masterclasses with this software. Really? Okay. Estimate fabric. Create pattern sketches in different colors and fabrics, and sell made-to-measure patterns in your online store. Now, I haven't gone this deep because I don't do pattern drafting. I kind of edit my patterns. I don't draft them necessarily from scratch. But you can do that with this So It's CAD software. Uh, I'm not going to go into that, but you can check this out. This is on the Soist CAD tab at the top. That's the first one I picked. And then we're going to go down to the next thing in line, which is the Sewing um, Patterns Library. Now, I call this Patterns Library, too, because there is a Patterns Library up toward the... Um, Let's see. Is it the big stores? Let me know. Right here, the library, patterns library. Not the same. This is so as CAD's patterns library, where users who are using the SOAS CAD software, which is a pattern drafting software, you can see by you see all the plotted points on this on this skirt here. That's the SOAS CAD part. Excuse me. SOAS CAD software. And as they create designs on this, they can save them. See, Miss Kristen Howard saved hers. She's done something as recent as December 21st. So she's executing a skirt very well, I must say. So all of those files will be saved here unless they are made private. You won't see any others. Um, there's several here, um, several pages of that. Uh, let's see. Now, also, some of these are editable, like you can go in and edit what somebody's already done if they let you, if they give permission on that. Um, but that's for people who are interested in pattern drafting. And you can, um, if you have patterns in here, I don't think I have anything. Oop, I tried a little bit. <laughs> so uh, look how far I got. though. But anyway, uh, so you can uh, save your patterns in here and just view those or go through the other uh, users pattern as well. Now, uh, here are the filters here for that. Um, patterns, template, public, code, hidden, export, allowed. And yeah, because you can export the people's pattern that they created. Now, let me tell you this. Also, in this SOAS CAD, meaning it said export allowed, that means that for me, <laughs> and I think it's right, um, when you create patterns in SOAS.CAD, they are made to measure patterns. These are the same. They're made on the same platform as the the online online sewing pattern designer so they go through the same uh pattern grading system so you can plug in your pre-saved in this case i think you have to save your measurements ahead of time um that is a whole kind of discussion for something later but um just to telling you that you can do this um your pre-saved uh patterns excuse me Sorry, your pre-saved patterns, um, sizes, or excuse me, measurements can be um, imported or uploaded into the, this SOAS CAD, and your pattern would be converted to the made-to-measure size that you need, any size that you need. So you create the pattern from scratch in this, 
this is separate from what we're going to do next but you can create the pattern in here and it because it's on the same platform as the made to measure software it'll grade your pattern based on the size input okay i hope that was clear that is game changer and i hope that made some people excited but all right moving on to the next thing um manual i think is next yeah yeah the manual is just the guide that covers the website and its features so you can click on these links here and they'll take you to explanations on what all of that is everything that um you need to know about the the software itself the, the program itself okay um so let's see now documentation now that's vague you really don't know what that means <laughs> well, it's, just, it's just a glossary it's a glossary or reference tool for so it's cad software so you have general information um pattern code it's called it describes what all of this stuff means and you can um there's tags here also you can like if you want to like if you want to because there's there's uh, tutorials in here to teach you how to use so it's cad so if you wanted to learn pattern drafting software you can do that and i'm just showing you over here on the tag of the tags if you want to um, learn how to uh, put a fabric notation in here on this software, you click on fabric and here it says pattern function creates pattern pieces and uses many parameters. So you have to know what that means <laughs> for, for you to use that. But however, it is useful to those who understand this language. OK, all right. So uh, that's documentation. Now, size guide. Now, this forget everything else. <laughs> make sure you can measure yourself and input the right size. So let's go here. Now, first, this size guide, I'm gonna, I don't know why they don't put the other first, but this, we're gonna start here. The size guide provides detailed descriptions and illustrations of body measurements to help you find the right fit, okay? So this is how their, their anthropometric landmarks look, they're, they're labeled here. And for each one, it corresponds with the measurement on the body. And you can see how they correspond. I won't go through them all. But you see the patterns that are made to measure are calculated based on the numbers that are input for each of these uh, patterns. But now you don't put in all the numbers. You just put in the height, bust, waist, hip, and I think the upper hip or full hip. I'm just, something like that. I think full hip. But those are the only measurements you put in initially, but you can tweak them. Let's go to the next thing. So that's what this is. This is your size guide. Now, the next thing you go to my sizes, my sizes in this section, you can enter and save your measurements for easy access when ordering made to measure patterns. You can use it. Use the edit link, which is over here. Excuse me. Over to the right, the little pencil. The edit link will bring you back to the size guide. OK, let me click this for my clients measurements here. You, you'll input them with the little plus sign here. And there's a form to fill out with all the measurements that it requires. Very short. But um, let me see if I can get it in here. I'm clicking. All right, here we go. So this is what my clients, um, you can put the name in here. This is what my, well, that's already pre-filled when you open up a new uh, user, not user, user, new, um, say, client in this case. Um, you can put, make sure your units are correct. Well, I got to set my units. I have them as CM. I got to put that, correct that on the other side of this, okay? <laughs> but here you can see all the measurements here. Let me go ahead and do that because that's going to confuse some people. Um so my units, how do I do that? Did I have a different one? Let's use a different one. This one actually has, um, I don't know why they got, see this one's in inches. So see where it's grayed out, you can't change those. But those that have white boxes, you can change those measurements. Now, based on your bust, waist, and hip measurement and your height, it's pre-filling the rest of the measurements, okay? Based on their, their system and algorithm and how it all works, don't ask me but it does work because it fits me. Um, so if you have like measurements that go outside of their measurements, see how it says here, neck girth 17, and then the, the standard is actually 15.63. I had to increase that for my client because actually she wanted a wider uh, band for her mandarin collar. So we did that and it did work. So, uh, but I have to, 
I need to really change that back if I make her something else. So, because I, I may not want that included in the um, new any new designs of hers. Just a note. Um, but here uh, you can see all the measurements here and what they correspond to the S27. Now, what I what I don't like, if if I could say that, on um, the measurement guide here, the size guide here, it has the links to those coded measurements like s1 it'll link so i wish it, i could click on it and it goes to the figure where that measurement is placed but you can look on the figure and see what number corresponds with what measurement yourself uh, and it also has a description of course but i just like things easy you can always also do old school control f or command f if you're if you're on a mac to find a um, name and type it in and you can find it in the list because there is a long list of measurements here <laughs> and then now at the bottom um it shows the rest of the figures with the measurements and where they go and, and this will help you when you're taking your tape measure to take measurements if you want to go all the way and do the full body measurements it shows you exactly where to place your measuring tape to get the number if you want to do that even your foot look at that this is amazing i really like this um so let me go back um i'm going to try to wrap this up y'all because this is the last thing so once you uh my advice to you once you start your account come here to my sizes which is the last tab and the last uh, link and click the plus sign here to input your measurements make sure you're on the right type of units you can put your name here, whether it's a woman, see it's just only that selection available. And then put your height, bust, under bust, that's another one. Uh, waist, hip, full hip, okay? So all those measurements you put in as accurately as you can, um, hit save, and that's what it'll save initially, okay? And you can't put any other ones in this form. The only, way, only place you can change your measurements um, or uh, tweak them, should I say, is when you create your um, your um, you know you fill out your form, you come back to where it is on this list, and go to the edit link right here to edit it, and then you can edit any other the other ancillary um, um, measurements. Okay, all right, let's get to the fun part. Uh, I hope that didn't bore y'all too much. I will have uh, links. Um, to different sections of this in my um, my YouTube video. I, yeah, in the YouTube video so that you can just skip over things that you want to stick with. But um, but this, um, uh, I think, needed to be put out there because a lot of people have questions about this. So let's get to making something. Now, you saw the dress that I put on TikTok. Um, so let me get back to my thing here. Sorry. You saw the dress that I put on TikTok, I think. Um, if you are here and saw the notification, you know that dress was created using the software of um, SOAS.com software, online designer software. So let's get into how to do that. So let me see. Um, now, I'm going to arbitrarily pick a dress. So, but I'm going to just walk you through it really briefly now. Uh, this tutorial is more about the overview of the site, and I'm going to show you um, as how quickly you can create a pattern right now or a design right now for a pattern. So you'll go to online designer tab, which is this third tab in the list here. You can choose your block, a dress block, top, skirt, pants, jumpsuits. Yes, jumpsuit and lingerie. Lingerie. It's not going to have much in it. Let me see if they got, they only have four patterns right now. They still haven't updated that. And it's just underwear, no bras. Um, but it's coming soon, probably. <laughs> so we're going to start from the beginning. Oh, gosh, I went too fast, guys. All right. So we're going to start from the beginning and create a design. I'm going to kind of walk you through what you can do here. So we're going to start with a dress block just to make it simple. Um, uh, you have this choice of fit, semi-fitted, fitted, oversized fit, and body con. So you have different ease built into all of these. And there's information on the site under your um, 
that um, documentation or the manual, I believe, which will tell you how much ease is in each of these. And I think there's probably some information on the pattern too, but don't quote me on that. I'm going to create a fitted bodice, a fitted, excuse me, dress block. Um, here you have your dress, your lengths for your dress. You can pick any of them you want to choose. Uh, it's above the knee. That's what I would normally do. You have uh, options for, I'm going to just try to show you the whole screen if I can. I want you to note at the top here where it says dress sewing patterns above knee length. So it shows you what you've chosen so far. And it also shows you, excuse me, with the different tiles, um, what you have so far. All of that can be edited on the fly. Okay. So I'm going to choose raglan sleeves only because I want to be difficult. I don't want to be simple. Anybody can do full stuff. So we'll do something a little complex. <laughs> But uh, I wish I did a little timer, but I can probably do this under two minutes, usually a minute, maybe a few seconds, if I know what I'm looking for. Um, but I'm having to explain it. So you see all the different. Oh, I don't want to go further. I'm sorry. I don't want to go further. All right. So before I go on. Oh, I went on. <laughs> Let me go back. Okay, before I go on, you can see the different silhouettes that are available. Regular armholes, raglan, wrap dress, one piece sleeves. You know, that's the the sleeve that sort of sits a little further past the shoulder point, really popular. Um, halter dresses, they have this in the top also versions. Uh, halter dress pattern, um, just as it says, uh, it dresses with straps. Um, like if you wanted your um, um, strapless bodice, you can start with that one and just take the straps out. Excuse me. My nose is running. All right, create creative dresses with set-in sleeves. I'll go here so you can see what that is. It gives you a few. Um, let's see, creative dresses with set-in sleeves. Hmm. Not what I'd hope to get. This is not what I'm supposed to get. It's supposed to show me some different other designs. So let me get out of that. So, uh, huh. Again, there's some bugs in this software, so just beware. All right, we'll go to raglan sleeve. That's what I want to choose. Now here you can choose your neckline style. There are various ones, but I want you, let me see, let me go up to the top again. See where it says dress sewing patterns, raglan sleeve. So that's where it stopped. And now I'm choosing my neckline down here. Um, there are subcategories here for the necklines, boat neckline, geometric plunging, round neckline, scallops, slit opening, sweetheart, and V. So instead of scrolling through, if you know the neckline that you want to use, you can click on, on that. So let's see what geometric gets us. So we have different geometric shaped necklines here. I'm going to do a square. So I think I'm going to work on something. I'm going to do a wide square neckline, okay? Let's try that. Oh, can't do that with a raglan sleeve. I'm surprised it let me. Uh, that's one thing, too. <laughs> it's going to look a hot mess. Well, let's check it out. Let me let me see what it ends up looking like. Um, so I'm going to do the wide neckline with the raglan sleeve. We'll see what it ends up looking like because it's going to draft it. Sometimes it'll tell you you can't do it or it won't give you the option. So if it gave me the option, so maybe it'll do something. Now, I don't want a collar on this. It's kind of ridiculous, I think. Or And I know that the software is really not going to play well with a collar. So I'm just going to move on. But you see the collar options for that, that trajectory. So I chose, because I chose this dress fitted above knee raglan sleeves, wide square neck, the collar options, they actually gave me fewer collar options than are actually available. Now it does, it has, you know, of course it's smart software. It knows, it's design software. It knows uh, what works well with what pattern, right? We don't know that. We pattern hack and we put stuff together haphazardly, speaking about myself. But anyway, it uh, only gives you um, options that work well with what you chose previously. Hope that makes sense. So let's move on. So I don't want a collar, right? So I chose no collar. And let me click that. If it'll go on, I will move on. Uh, wait a minute, am I, did I, oh, sorry. 
chose no collar. Now we can move on. Now I need to scroll down to show you what that's what's next. Okay. So down here, I have uh, the closures. No front closure, button closure, button closure, neck to waist. Um, closure from neckline to hem. That's like an open cardigan sort of style. Um, do I want that? My raglan sleeve? Yeah, let me do that. Um, the next is the polo placket. Um, click of a button. You can have any one of these options for what I've chosen previously. Again, it's only gonna, it's only going to show you what would work for the for the pattern. Now <laughs> we'll see what we'll get though. So next, my options are the sleeves. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to choose the standard raglan, although it gives me several options to work with. Um, so we're going to do the standard one. I know I'm over two minutes, but however, we're going to move on. So again, um, now we're in the, let's see, style of the skirt of this dress. Now, I've told it that I want to have a closure in the front, right, and the raglan sleeves, right? So this doesn't show a closure, and it shouldn't. It's just showing me, okay, this is the silhouettes options you have. We're going to still give you your closure, but we just want you to see this is what you can do with it. So it's thinking I, I want a full dress with no waist seam because I already I chose that raglan sleeve first, even though there's a waist seam here. As I went along the pattern choices, it started selecting for me what works best. So a waist seam doesn't make sense with this cardigan. I would have to do it a different way if I want a waist seam or I have to draft it myself. But I, neither here nor there, what I'll choose next is A-line style, I think. Would that be weird? Let's try it. So we're going to do the A-line style, but you saw the style options you had. Now here, I can choose what type of seaming I want or what type of darts I want. So I can do the princess seams or uh, options for darts. And let me see what they have here on the options for the bust dart and waist dart. So let's see. So, um, so you have to click on it to get into it in that case. Um, uh, let's see. So I have this option, front shoulder and waist start, front arm hole and waist start, front French start and waist start. I'm going to go with the traditional here because we have that square neck. We've got a lot going on. Square neckline and the, everything else. So we're going to go here with the, a basic. And then on the back, these are only two options. Again, there are more options that would be available in other types of patterns. This is what they limit you to because of what I chose previously. And also with the sleeves, um, there are multiple sleeve options available. It only will show you based on what you chose originally. I chose raglan, so I only have raglan options. It makes sense. So let's go with, uh, I'm going to go with a little short one like this. I don't really want too much drama since I have the square neckline. Let's see what we get. Oh, not bad. I, I would wear it. <laughs> it's not bad at all, really. Um, so that's your pattern um, um, template here, or does, what do you call it? Line drawing here, front and back. Of course, I have my front closure. I've got my, my wide square neck. I have my raglan sleeve, which is the seaming here for the raglan sleeve. I have the waist start and the um, bust start both with an A-line silhouette. Now, all of that that I just said is down here in descriptions here. And it doesn't say description, but it is. It's telling you where all every all of the elements that I chose that make up this one pattern. And it, it assigns a pattern number here. If someone has created this same combination of designs before, this pattern number would be populated by based on that. But maybe it's a brand new one that I've created. I don't know. But um, let's get into this next part. And I know this is like a two hour <laughs> class, but I'm going to break this video up. I surely am. All right. So when you're, oh, they were on sale. Oh, some, some of the patterns were on sale, but they aren't now. To order the pattern is $2.45, as you can see. Again, I said it has the design number over here. All of that is standard here. Over to the left, I want to show your, I want you to get your attention to that. Make it a, maybe I should make it a little bigger and show you. Over to the left, you can choose a standard size. 
this is this is sois.com's sizing you see where it says 9xl maybe it's it's actually probably a size i don't know 30 maybe in women's and you can plug in whatever your measurements are i believe i haven't plugged in something that and used it for a client um that is plus size over the size maybe 32 in a commercial pattern i have not so if you're going to try this um, as a plus size remember that free pattern that you can get go ahead and get that and put the plug in your measurements and see what you get um, out of that um so here let me take this off you can click as many sizes as you want say if this is a dress and this is the cool part let me, let me just slow my roll so over here you see the choose the standard sizes and it chooses when you choose select a size actually it's going to default to the medium when you come in when you create a pattern it's going to default to medium so make sure you uncheck that um and check the one that you want if you want to use their standard sizing right that means that the measurements they put in looks like your measurements and you'll go for it if not you want to choose a saved size and remember that i showed you how to put in your own sizes put in your own measurements you can put that you can um pull that up here see where all the names populated right here for my clients so if i click my client's name you see how that check came off that 9xl now it's populated her measurements whoever i chose now what one thing it doesn't do i wish it did was highlight which one i chose so i click this one i know that's the one i clicked but i wish it would have highlighted it so that if i was just leaving the computer and coming back i don't know which one i clicked you know i need that for me especially if you have a whole list of them i don't know how much of a nightmare that would be but you can also look here under the enter your measurements tab and you can see the measurements actually for the person i clicked underneath that so you can check it but i still would like something to be highlighted and i'll probably send a little note to them to ask for that but you can see all the measurements here you can tweak them here remember i said that under your profile for each um person you're creating patterns for you can do the edit and tweak it there you can tweak it here before printing as well it just doesn't save it for you under your profile under your um your i guess client profile it doesn't save it but you can you can actually put it here and then print it or or order it with the changes but it doesn't save the changes i hope you understand that but here you see the full hip all the measurements are here and these are the inches right i can also see the centimeter equivalent to that the metric equivalent to that here once i click the cm link but i like inches so now um another update or edit you can do is to choose the wearing ease let's see i can't move that over but you can choose the wearing ease it says pro but pro just means you have a login account you don't have access to this if you because you can use this software uh without having an account and you just you won't be able to save any any of your measurements or anything like that but you can use it without saving it and pro only means that you have um, a username and you've created an account and it's still free but pro just means that you'll have access to changing things like ease uh, and thing and updating things like that so just so you know if you don't want to log in and create an account you can still get the free pattern you can still um play around with the pattern designer uh, there are just some limits on other features okay just get that clear all right so here you can put in bust ease this is what the existing must ease is and that's in inches these 0.36 you need to know that's a um, little bit over two and a quarter right so a uh, two and three eighths no yeah two and th yeah three seven five yeah close to through two and three eighths you need to know what the decimals mean so hopefully um we done a study on that uh the waist ease and these things you can add, increase or decrease remember i chose a uh f-i-t-t-e-d fitted dress block if it's too fitted for me or not fitted enough i can i can increase or decrease it here when i tell you all you probably won't use a commercial pattern ever again but when i tell you all this is like beyond what i needed it is because i have a larger belly 
and um anyway I, I need more ease but anyhow let's go on hips ease it shows you what this is what the uh auto generated measurements are you can change them i can change this i can use decimals as well just convert your fractions to decimals and just plug it in all right so here down with the to the format oh seam allowances you can say yes or no no for people who want to tweak the pattern make new design lines redraft it or something like that or yes for those who just want to make the pattern as it is you know for reference or if you're a person that just wants to put your own size of seam allowance or own width of seam allowance just do it without seam allowances it's, it costs 50 cents more with a seam allowance and 50 cents less without it so let me see make sure that's still the case so I'm going to click no seam allowance and we'll go up here and see if the price changes. Hmm. They've changed that. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, yes or no, <laughs> same price. Um, and make sure that's still, yeah, it is true. All right. So the format, you can have several options. Letter, A4, A4 trimless. So just think all the patterns initially will come tiled just like you're used to pdf patterns these are pdf these are used to pdf patterns um coming uh to you digitally right so trimless meaning that you don't have to it, it prints it all the way to the edge you don't have to trim off the paper you can tape them together easily if you have a good printer that doesn't um put any um you could take off the uh what you call it bleed i think that's right don't get into that either. It's too technical. Uh, but anyway, you have all of these formats. Uh, if you recognize them, just use the ones you recognize and know how to use, okay? Letter trimless or just regular letter, even though the measurements are here, these are millimeters. So letter does mean eight and a half by 11, okay? Uh, inches. It just shows it in millimeters. And I can't change that. There's no, they don't um, allow for that. So that's what it is. But choose letter. And I think that's the default anyway. If you want anything different, you can change that. Now, tabloid is sort of like, uh, I believe, 11 by 17, I believe. Um, and the universal A4 letter, again, um, that's that A4. I'm, it, I'm not sure of the measurements. DXF, that's a software that you open the file into, sort of a CAD drawing software. Um, if you have it, uh, then you'll use that file extension format for that file extension. Now, Arch AB and all of that. I'm not sure what any of that is, okay? <laughs> so, so what I do, uh, but so much to explain. <laughs> There's more to this, but we're going to leave it at this. We're going to do letter trimless. Let's just choose something. So now you can purchase your pad. Well, we got your measurements in. Let me make it a little smaller again here. So you can see everything. So you got your measurements in. Um, make sure you go back and check and make sure they're, they're in here. Enter your, oh, you can enter them manually here too. If you didn't have your service saved, you can um, enter them manually, by the way. Uh, I think I did say that, but um, yes, you can. So you can, if you're logged into your account, you can save this for later, which I will do. I'm saving that for later. Um, and you can create a style board. Um, so if I created a style board for it, I can choose the fabric I want to, to add to it. I can um, give it a name. I can change the name here. Right here is, has the design name as the pattern number. I can make this a draft or a completed uh, style board. And I can do a draft and come back to this and edit it. And you can edit it at any time also. I can make this public or private. I tend, tend to make my private. <laughs> Some public. Well, I can make it public because it's a cute dress. Um, and you can put in any details about the pattern here. There's a limited amount of characters that you can put in that pattern section. Then you have your fabric. Um, you can put the fabric type there, like Ankara, cotton, linen, leather, whatever you want to say about the fabric or fabrics that you're going to use to create this. You can use a universal color wheel here to kind of give whatever color family it's going to be in. And it gives you a little uh, a place marker here for your swatch. Now, that that's not necessarily your swatch. It's just a representation of the color. Now, you can upload your own image here. There's a little icon right there next to that, that green swatch, as you can see, that pops up, uh, upload image, and you click that, and it opens up your computer. Uh, 
of folders so you can uh, open up and put put your picture of your swatch right there or i believe you can pull them let me see huh i thought wait a minute wait a minute upload image huh i'm gonna have to ask them about pulling in the swatch from your saved swatches that will be something that will be handy here as well so now above that you have a link link a pattern now you can link another pattern let's say so you have well let me see so you can link a different pattern here if you want but we already have it in there so don't worry about that i don't know why you would link another pattern in here unless you're creating a style board based on the pattern that's outside of this um so i can also upload a real photo image of maybe my inspiration photo that i created this pattern for from um you can put that in there too that they asked that if you put any um copyrighted photos in grayscale so make sure you set that up in grayscale there's an option here for the color changes right at the bottom here and you can edit the image there uh, I don't know how much editing you can do except for cropping. Yeah, that's all you can do is crop it. Um, okay, so I think that's it. Well, there's more. So let's let's keep going since we're running a whole hour and a half here. So I'm back at my pattern. I'm logged in. And you have to be logged in to see this. And this is where I'm going to stop because it gets real deep after this. So let's see what else here down here is just um not much information but what you also will get with your pattern is the pattern instructions um that come with it and i'm trying to see something has changed though huh usually you there's a oh here it is the pattern instructions are, are on a link right below the image of the pattern or the design so you see English, Russian, Spanish, and French are the four uh, options for language. You can click on English and it will pop up a um, document that gives you the pattern instructions. It's, it'll populate your image of your design and it gives you very bare bones, basic uh, information on how to construct this garment nothing like commercial patterns okay they do pretty well with it and let me see if they got any better with this they actually should upload adobe reader to read this document or you know and save it you can download this document um let's see here um it gives you some details about how to lay out your pieces it's, again it doesn't show you because it's really general information i think um, they say this is for beginners, but beginners can get hung up here because if they don't have strict instructions, sometimes it kind of messes them up. But these instructions typically are found, um, oh, let's just say, it's not unlike your commercial patterns, how to construct the garments. So just stick with the rules you know if you do know the rules on how to put them together um, and look, for this, look at this as a reference for... Um, what they want you to pay attention to on the pattern, okay? So you see the pictures that you're seeing, they're really not exactly what you're actually going to be sewing, um, but it just tells you a good step-by-step um, -step on how to just assemble a bodice, a skirt, and things like that. So um, it shows a technical drawing, and that's that. Just, just keep in mind that the instructions are not going to be as detailed as most people would like with uh, photos and things like that to illustrate how to construct the garment. So don't get disappointed, though. Don't get disappointed. Oh, I don't think you can see that. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, I skipped the tab. Oh, well, there it is. All right. I hope you can see that but anyway next thing so hopefully that was fun to watch so let me see i need to go back okay uh back on my dress let me make sure my thing is populating properly okay it is so now over here over the on the right it says pro order one so coin remember we talked about the so coins that you can purchase um um purchase ahead of time and use them as your cash to buy the patterns you don't have to do this this is just an option just to, to order them on the fly so um, you can click that and 
that will I think you go that goes straight to the card I believe it, it'll use your so coin so I'm not going to do that so when it tells me how many so coins I have left I have three here in their system um, I can click on that and look at that but uh, here I want to pay um, show you just really quick because I really want to wrap this up it's going too long um, go to pro view this is where we go into so is CAD the pattern drafting software and I want you to see your pattern that you created okay hold on <laughs> and i'm going to take my picture down right quick so let me see so you can actually see the whole screen and i'm going to take are there any questions by the way uh so let's see Ooh, one minute there we go all right, so let me let me take that also so you can see all of this. All right, so I'm taking it all down so you can actually see it. Let me put my name on the bottom. Okay. Nope, that's never mind. All right, so it's it's populating. It's gonna take a second. And my computer's a little slow, so there it is and in the middle you can see the little strip i'm going to zoom in in a second um that is your pattern that is my square neck pattern with the raglan sleeves and the, the waist start bust start and my sleeve here toward the bottom and let's see i'm going to zoom in and it's all uh laid out on letter size paper in rows of two <laughs> Uh, it's 22 sheets of this. So that's how they laid it out, which is great. Now, this is great um, format for printing a large format print of this. I'll get into that in another class, but this is great uh, formatting for it. Um, as you can see, you can actually move this pattern around a little bit. So you can see how we can, I can grab it and move it wherever I want to place it. Very cool. Um, I can do all this before I purchase it. Okay, I can see the pattern before I purchase it. You see, I haven't purchased it yet. So um, you can, I'm kind of dragging up with my mouse, or, uh, left clicking and dragging. It's not doing that well. Okay, there we go. I got to get it off that. There we go. All right. Uh oh, let me just make it smaller. <laughs> All right. So that's our pattern. That's our neckline. Facings here, armhole facings here, and the sleeve down at the bottom. Very simple pattern. But one thing I want to pay attention to, well, a few things. Over to the right, you can see that it's in the letter format. You can change that. There's a drop-down menu here where you can change it to other formats if, in case you changed your mind. This is all before you purchased, okay? All right, so I'm going to keep it on letter. And uh, another thing is, it defaults to a medium size. When you're going in to view this pattern, it defaults to that medium size. Remember, I hope you remember when we uh, first generated the pattern, it, the pattern popped up on that screen and you can do all the sizing and things. The first size it selects is medium. It does it here too. So when you go into the pro view, it's going to be a medium size. You've got to change that before you buy it if you're going to purchase it from, from this um, screen, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. Over to the right, you see the height, bust girth, waist girth, and hip girth all notated here. And those measurements here are the defaulted medium. Now, I'm not sure. So it says at the bottom here, use, and it shows you the icon. Uh, which is, has the uh, measurement tool in it and like the ruler here. You can barely see it. Let me see if I can zoom that in. Oops. Not gonna, let me get over here so that you see that. Yeah. So you got the so coin. You got the illustration here. I'm gonna, I am can't scroll up. So let me see. There we go. That's as small as I can get it to show you that little icon right there. Use that icon to select new size. Then it says to manage personal sizes, click here. Let's see where it takes us because um, it's gonna take me to another tab. Let me see if that tab is open. 
on earth and good it did so it takes me straight to my my sizes which is good i could go ahead and update or edit here so but how am i going to change the pattern size if i need you know to what it needs to be before printing it um and that's only like i said it's only if you're going to print from here because you can go back see that editor home page you can go back there or hit the back arrow and that's what we're going to do because I'm not sure how to work around this one. Uh, I do know how to print it with my size, but I'm not going to confuse you. All right, so let me get it a little bigger here. So over to the left, maybe at the top, over to the left, it says there's an icon with a ruler here and a little notebook behind it, a green notebook. And you can hover over it and see that it says choose size to draft pattern in. Can't explain that any better, OK? Um, there's some information going on at the bottom i'm not going to um get into okay computer what you doing let me see okay i'm not going to get into Hold on, on. but um it's that's part of the drafting notations down there uh so we're going to click on the button that says choose pattern size to draft pattern into right RTW means are ready, ready to wear. That is their standard sizes where it says um, uh, extra, extra small to, or 2XL to the 9XL, whatever it is, 2XS to 9XL, um, whatever. That's the ready to wear. ISO, that's Russia. You don't need that unless you understand that what it, what's in there. My sizes are the pre-saved sizes that I put into the system, okay? Here, let me see. Let me make sure that the ready to wear. Yeah, the ready to wear is only going to allow you to choose these. So there's no editing, no updating there. My sizes, as long as the updates are already saved, it's not going to populate here. So this is really, unless you're um, sure that the size or measurements are correct, you it's not good to print from here or to, to do anything from here. That's just my opinion. So I would still have to select the person's name. I think we were doing Elaine. And once I selected Elaine, her sizes show up down, her measurement, excuse me, shows up down here. Of On the left, you see this, the metric. On the right, you see inches and the slash in between. Height, bust, full hip. But those are only two it references. But the others are there. Those are just the only um, measurements they reference, the height, bust, and full hip. Um, so I hit apply and I want you to, to watch the screen as the pattern changes. It was a little small pattern, but now if my computer is going to go ahead and do this, <laughs> I'm clicking. Oh, there we go. So it's going to update, take a few seconds and you'll see that pattern grow because that client is a little bit larger than this medium. That's how easy it is to plug in different sizes. Uh, then it changed the format of the the uh, print as well. So check out that. So that's the size <laughs> uh, changes for uh, my clients. See how small that waist dart got because she does not need that much shaping on the waist because the waist is fairly large. Um, and then all the other pattern pieces are same, but just in a different size. They, that's automatic. And over to the right, you should be able to see the numbers change as well. So 65 inches, I think it was 63, 65 inches, 51 inch bust. That, so that sort of checks, right? That tracks. So we have all of that. Now, seam allowances were included in this pattern. You see the format of the pattern here that you um, um, can, can see as far as the layout. So when you're printing your pattern, you can also come back and see how it's supposed to be laid out. But they also have um, references here to as to what page number is on here too. They do have those as a guide as well. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about this right now because it, it's a whole nother class. <laughs> so, but I hope you like that um, and um, would use this tool this is where this is where the pattern drafting happens to this is so as cad um so i'm going to hit my back arrow let me see and get back to my pattern so that's the pro view 
so is CAD. Now it's it's a whole other class. Let me know if you would like to see a video on that. Uh, it probably be just as long. <laughs> But uh, because I don't do pattern drafting, I may not do a good job of explaining it, but I'll give it a shot. All right. That's it, guys. Now, um, if you want um, my overview of the, this, this pattern company, all of the tabs I was talking about, I have descriptions on what all of these tabs mean, um, all of that means and what it's used for, what I believe it's used for. Um, I'll have that available for you on tomorrow, uh, just for a little cup of coffee costs, but it'll be available for you. Um, and a little demo on how to create a pattern in general, okay? The things we went through. Um, so thank you for joining me. I really appreciate that. I really do. So hello. So I hope you will get into sewist.com and start creating patterns tonight because it is a useful tool um again <laughs> i'm gonna make this really short but i thank you guys so much for joining me those of you who popped in and watched this video about sewist.com patterns um these pdf patterns that are made to measure um you can create a multitude of designs with them as you could have you, you saw and you do it yourself you do it really in less than a minute really if you know what you're doing, you do it in less than a minute. Start practicing in it. You'll see what it does. Uh, or come back and watch this video and skip over to the part where I teach you how to um, use the software to create your own patterns from their blocks. All right. That's it, guys. My name is Susan Johnson, and this is Unsolicited, where we break down fashion one stitch at a time. I hope you will join me next week on Taylor Made Thursday, where we'll talk about... You just have to come and see. <laughs> All right. Good night. Eh, can't broadcast.